Alright, uh... This was United States Trans United States Department of Transportation. Update, uh... March 7th, 2012. Joint Operation Manual for Title 49 CFR Part 109 and Enforcement Administrative Authorities. Federal Aviation Administration. Uh... Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, Federal Railroad Administration, Pipeline Hazard Material Safety Administration. Part 1, General Provisions. Introduction, uh, Section 1, Introduction. Background. The Federal Hazardous Material Transportation Law and Regulations regulate safe and secure transportation hazardous or hazmat in commerce. The controlling statutory regulatory framework consists of, a fra uh, fed or of, of, consists of Federal Hazard Material Transportation Law or HMTA. Title 49 U.S. Sequential, 5109 Sequential. Implementation Regulations, Hazardous Material Regulations, 49 CFR 171 through 180. Enforcement of Federal Hazardous Materials Transportation Law Regulations has been delegated, designated by the Department of Transportation, um, Department Official of Four Operating Administrations, Pipeline Hazardous Material Safety Administration, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, Federal Railroad Administration, Federal Aviation Administration. Congressional perceiving new and enhanced uh, OAs or enforcement authority um, ability to address implementing hazard percent, presenting the transportation of hazard materials and acting with safety, accountability, flexibility, ex efficiency. Uh, open, uh, um, Congress uh, perceiving and enhancing operating and administration enforcement authority ability to address imminent hazard presented to the by the transportation hazards materials and acted with the safe accountability, flexible, efficient transportation equality equal, equality equ equity act, a legal user of the safety T L U public law 109-59-119, statute one eleven forty four August tenth two thousand five the safety T L U authorized or um officers employees agents and department authority one access to open examine a pack access and open and examine a package two remove the package from transportation three order the package for analysis four permitting shipment to resume trans transportation. Five, authorizing qualified person to assist the performance of regulated function. Six, issue emergency orders. The hazard death material regulations have been amended to the include the new enforcement administrative tools of part new part 109. Section 1, 2, purpose. The purpose of this manual is to establish a baseline standard operating procedure to be used by the Office of Administration when exercising enhanced authority granted with the safety T. Or safe accountability, flexible efficiency transportation act, the Equity Act, um, implemented by the ha Hazardous Material um, Regulations under Part 109. The guidance provided by this manual will help ensure that each of the uh, Office of Administrations are exercising enhanced authority in consistent, uniform manner. Additional information in this manual will inform regulated community of the guidance and procedural steps associated with the new hands. Authority section one three limitations now here within shall be construed as a limitation upon the any of the office administration and exercise existing authorities or new enhanced authority. For example, a module agent as defined in part one hundred nine considering discretion carrying out his or her enforcement duties as such an office administration has existing for, um, standard operating procedures guidance on how to enforcement personnel or exercise enforcement authority. The manual set a minimum standard operating procedure for the new enhanced enforcement authority of Part 109 will be used by the Office of Administration when exercising the new enhanced author enforcement authority. Noting in the operation manual is construed as creating with the implement implying substantive procedural duties, rights, and benefits. The information document provided by the internal guidance does not provide any basis for the private party to challenge the office administrator to exercise enforcement discretion in any particular case. And a guidance in, in interpretation and policies contained in this documentation shall not be construed in modification, alteration, revision, or existing regulations. Office of Administrative by joint agreement may revoke and modify contents of the documentation at any time without public prior notice. Prior public notice. 
Section 2, Applicability. The guidance of the manual only applies the authority exercised under Title 49 CFR 109 and therefore does not exceed the exercise of authority pursuant to any other law or regulations currently authorized as authorized in future special areas or addressed in the manual stop, op, stopping, opening, removing, closing, reintroduction, transportation analysis, assistant qualified personnel, and emergency orders. Section 3. For the purpose of this manual, all terms meaning a means found in Title 49 CFR 109.1 and 4917, or sorry, 49 CFR 171.8, and the word phrases that are found in Title 49 CFR 109.1, prescribed in the meeting odds of the definition of Title 49 CFR 171.8, elsewhere, has been through regulations that mean provided with the Title 49. Um, Code Federal Regulations 1091 shall be limited to applicable in this document. Authorizing official, any person designated with the Office of office Administration will authorize to deny agents to may request to open a package issue removal order, may request the issuance of the emergency order, who may pray for him, any other function designated with his or her Office of Administration. Emergency contact an official of the person designated in the emergency order who will answer for any of the person affected by the outstanding emergency order. Each of the Office of Administration shall make the per that person an alternate available at any time the emergency is pending. Temporary removal or hold order. An order is issued by an agent after consultation with the authority. Officials will remove a package and necessary related packages from transportation. Otherwise, prevent package from being placed in transportation. Transportation convenience. Intermodal container transportation vehicles, unit load devices, and other mo mo methods of securing one or more packages that are not considered over pack it's or outer packagings. Section 4, General. The section highlight important guidance of information general applicability throughout this manual. Subsequent sections include operational guidance specific to the topic of this section. The order in which the section appears in the guidance of the document does not mean the exercise of one authority is in a way that depending upon an exercise of another. All times of an age, all times an agent or other person exercising authority addressed in this manual should follow the Office of Administration Safety, other guidelines, and any, any or standard operating procedures. The department recognizes that the Office of Administrator Existing Inspection Investigation Authority Enhanced Authority Increase in this manual may overlap while the agent performing the routine function enforcement functions of the agent should refer to the manual guidance for exercising one or more of the enhanced authorities. When confi confronted with a package and that is in transportation, the agent should exercise his or her discretion, limit the movement of the package, and should limit it um, to what it is needed to be completed um, in this inspection. Prior to opening a package, an agent or other authorized person should try the other methods to determine compliance whenever the document provides the agent perform the functional based on his or her authority or without the prior approval. The office administration may still require prior approval. Therefore, the agent should always check Part 2 model um, specification considerization of his manual to confirm that the position of his or her office administration regarding the needs for the approval. Section 5, Delays Associated with the Routine Inspection Investigation, Section 5, 1, in, in general. Each of the office in, uh, as, as each of the office administration provides its agents with the guidance of the concerning how and when the agent authorized to conduct the hazard investigation, conducting routine inspections and delay can delay the transportation that has been shipment. It is important to understand the delays associated with the routine inspections for investigations may be necessary, unavoidable. Generally, these do not relate delays do not raise rise to the level at Part 109 stop and are not considered exercises of the authority of under Part 109, see Section 6 or below. Um, section 5.2, gain access to inspecting uh, hazmat packages. The goal of the hazmat inspection investigation is to ensure the self-transportation hazardous materials by verifying hazmat shipments and compliance with the hazmat material regulations. The first step towards realizing the goal is by gathering the information concerning the nature of the material being transported or in hazardous presented that may include gaining access to the packages containing the original offer or to the clarifying convictions conflicts and information communications related with the hazardous material. Section 5.3, making the transition from the typical inspection delay to a stop. When the conducting the hazardous uh, hazmat inspection, an agent moves the necessary unavoidable delay associated with the routine inspection and stop under Part 109. When he or she is beyond with the collection of information readily available from the inspection site of, from the original offer, a stop may also be incidented with, the, and with an agent exercise one of the enhanced authorities addressed in this manual. 
Section 6, stop. When an agent responsible or executable um, belief of the package or transportation convenience containing the hazard material in the package does not otherwise comply with the hazard material regulations, the agent may um, may stop the movement of the package transportation convenience. Key points. Um, to remember about the stopping of the movement of the package and the transportation and convenience exercise authority, a stop under Part 109 refers to limitations of prevention of continued movement of the pocket package. Transportation convenience does not refer to physical sta stopping of the transportation convenience. A stop unparted under 109 may result in the may necessary unavoidable delays associated with the routine compliance inspection. The agent should refer to the guidance of his or her own office administration concerning how to conduct the routine inspection investigation. Um, a stop includes preventing package from entering the transportation, therefore, an inspection warehouse general authority to get their information may not be in an implicatable stop. However, the package is stop staged but not yet offered, and the inspection may stop become to a stop. When conducting a hazmat inspection, a stop should be limited to in time the duration required of the agent compliancy. Section 7. Opening. In the general, the agent may open the package if it is not immediately adjacent to the contents, which, when he or she is objectively, reasonably, articulably believe that the package may contain hazardous material that is otherwise not compliance. After opening the package, the agent may examine the inner package of packing components and determine the compliance of the federal hazmat law and hazmat regulations. Key points to remember about packaging opening. Opening are the agent should not open the package that appears to be leaking. The agent should follow his or her office of administration guidelines for notification and actions. If possible, the agent should ask the entities with custody and control open to the package. If the entity custody opens the package, it retains custody. If the entity custody refuses to open the package, the agent may still open it after completing a required documentation. C section 7.2. Should be proceeding in accordance with applicable guidance in this section. Prior to opening the package, the agent should try other methods of obtaining information he or she needs to determine compliance. The agent should not open primary package closure. The in it includes closure and immediate bulk containers and full bulk, bulk um, packaging. These does not include the testing, secondary closures, and tightness. Um, even bulk packaging, the agent custody of the package during the opening the opening of the package. After the opening of the package, the agent may be required to close the package. See section nine for details. Um, Section 2, Documentating Information Considering Authorizing Official Packaging and Transportation. When packaging and transportation, the agent should not know should not open the package unless he or she is contemporaneous, documented, written, instruction, or instrument, or form as established by his or her office administration. The following. A. The reason the agent believes the hazmat is present that should be in a specific hazmat believed to be present when that hazmat is perishable. How, do the, how the package is otherwise not compliance. The type of the package, including the description of the package, all markings contained in the um, package. D. Uh, what agents define how the agent believes will further his or her, uh, his or her investigation. How and why the opening of the package is necessary to make the determination or learn that the nature and contents and showing not, are of noncompliance. Five, how the agent expects to reclose the package, what the material resources availability of the agent reclosing the package, whether the agent was successful in contacting the original officers of the package, and then the steps taken in contacting the original off off offerer, details on the contact. Section 7.3, Documentation Information Package Not in Transportation. Prior to opening the package that is not in transportation, agent is required to write down his or her objective release and ability belief of the package containing hazardous material, why the agent believes it's otherwise compliant. Section 4, uh, Authorization. When a package is in transportation, the agent, after completing required documentation, but prior to opening the package, should provide the documentation information with the authorized official. The packaging is not transportation, the agent complying with the Completing the required documentation, C Section 7.3 may be open to the package with requesting authorization unless uh, Office of Administration requires prior auth um, authorization. 7.4 Responsibilities Authorization of uh, Official for the Packaging Open. When the agent requires authorization to open the package, the authorization official at the minimum should documentate the information provided with the agent unless the agent is able to transmit exactly the copy completed with the authorizing official, the date and time of the request made. 
The name and the agent, location, inspection, investigation, the authorizing official final destination approved and denied. 75 notification when a package is open. 75 wanted person with the custody of the package. You, upon receiving authorization to open package prior to its opening, the agent should, where practical, give verbal notification to the person who has the custody of the package. 752, the original offer, and if the person in the custody of the package is not original offer, the reasonable measure shall be made to notify the original offer and the delay that could cause the opening of the package. Notifica note, notification of original offer is required. Section 7.6, opening the package. The agent should follow the guidance and procedure for the his or her own office administrations concerning how to open and document the opening of the package. However, at the minimum, documentation required of the Office of Administrative Author Authorization should be consistent with Section 761. Documentation of the pa package. While opening the package, the agent should document the following and observation concerning the original closure and pa method of the package with a tape of the fiber, bu fiber, fiber board box. A description of any um, additional package um, materials, fiberboard dividers, abs abs absorbent materials, other observed in other packaging, a description of the inner packaging component, including dimension markings and labeling, etc. Section 7611, recommended procedures when practical, consistent with the guidance of the Office of Administration, the agent supplemented with written observation report the photographs to show the condition of the outer packaging along with the markings and all inner part packaging components, dividers, apps, absorbent material before or after removing other packaging, outer packaging. Section 8, the removal. Section 8, one general. Um, in general, when the agent has an objective, reasonable, and articulable belief that the package may pose an imminent hazard, he or she may remove the package related to the package and shipment and the transportation. Note that in most situations, the removal is limited to 48 hours. Key points, remember the removal the agent removed the other package they are related to the package believed to pose the imminent hazard related, related does not necessarily mean any package for the same transportation convenience. A related package is one of the which the agent and articulate nexus of the package believes to pose the imminent hazard. For example, shipping paper less than 10 packages um, from the same offer, 10 packages are listed containing the same material. These 10 packages related, they may be removed upon determination of one or more of the imminent hazards. Custody of the package remains with the person in possession, neither the Department of nor the Office of Authorization take custody when packages are removed from the transportation. Example of situations when an agent may to want to consider removal. A example 8 1 requesting an emergency order agent cannot inv conduct investigation as package of the imminent hazard upon the reviewing authorization official agreement. It reads the situation of the authorized uh, official authorization decision to issue the emergency order will likely not be immediate. Therefore, the agent should remove the package or related packages pending the office of authority decision. The action will allow the rest of the shipment to continue transportation. Office of the uh, office of Author office of authorization did not take package possession of the package with removal order issued rather than other places of the personal possession notice of the package has been removed. In the situation of the package part of the large shipment is in the responsibility of the person possession of the package determining on the best procedure. Example 18 more A2 more information testing is needed. The agent discovers the hazmat declared shipness shipped in class eight hazard. However, the state agent investigation also reveals the information indication of the material of the subsidiary six one classification. And material is truly poisonous inhalation hazard. PI eight six one may impose the impermit Im, impinent, Im, imminent hazard. However, the a material class, correctly classified as non-regulated material, it may not pose an imminent hazard, though only known for that for sure that they may transfer the material to the facility that is capable of analyzing material to determine the proper classification. 8.3. Needs of qualification assistance. To determine whether the imminent hazard of the president of the agent needs the assistance of the qualified person in order to perform the function. If the assistance is readily available for of the person in the possession of the package, it has qualified personnel must but refuses to prove, prove such an assistance of the agent could result. Request authorization to issue the removal order until the qualified person becomes available. The action allows the rest of the shipment unrelated packages to continue transportation while stopping suspected packages that pose imminent hazard. 
Section 8.2, during the information considered by the authorization official, the agent should, should, should document the written instrument from the form of the uh, established by the Office of Authorization. The agent's objective responsibility belief that he or she believes the package might pose an imminent hazard to allow to enter the continuum of transportation. The reason for the purpose of this removal, requesting an emergency order, including the reason for why or how the removal will assist determining the packaging posing the imminent hazard. See the evidence and the facts support the agent's belief that the package may pose the imminent hazard if the package was open and making the request of the removal. Any observation related to the opening of the package required pursuant to Section 7.6. Whether the agent was successful in containing the original offer of the package, the step can be taken into contact with the officer. Original officer offer details of the contact. Photographs, photocopies may be evidence. The agent should attach the photograph, similar evidence to the document in support of the, her belief. His or her belief. Um, Section 8 authorization after completing the documentation prior to the removing of the packet of the transportation, the agent should provide the documentation and information authorization official. Section 831 responsibility authorizing official removal process when an agent requests the authorization to remove the package and the authorization official at the minimum should documentate the information provided by the agent unless the agent is able to transmit the exact copy to his or her written information of the authorization of the official and this should include the statements why the agent believes the package might pose the imminent hazard if allowed to enter into and continue into transportation be a summary evidence of the facts that support the agent's belief unless the agent photographs the similar evidence of the documentation in which the case the document needs a reference to the attachment. C, the uh, expiration date of the removal order. D, the authorization of the uh, official well, final discussion approved and denied. Section 8311, removal of the applying emergency orders authorizing official agrees the evidence is sufficient with the request of the emergency order authorizing official should uh, contact his or her office of, of in, uh, um, authorization designated contact person for issuance of emergency order. Section 84. Affecting the removal after receiving approval, authorization official agent should a issue a written order removal order to the person with the custody control of the package. Be consistent with any of the guidance from this agency office of administration. Place the removal sticker package and related packages. Eight five notification removal requires the appropriate party to receive immediate notification of removal action. Eight five one is the person with the custody generally of the removal order when the sticker agent affixes the package. The package pursuant to section eight four is adequate notification. However, the removal agent should provide the person with the custody of the package complies with the documentation and evidence used to be a. Obtain the removal. 852 of the original offer. If the person, person with the custody and control of the package in the national and not in the original offer, the agent should immediately take responsibility measures of notifying the original offer. The removal of additional responsible measures should also be taken to supply the original offer of the copies and documentation that were provided by the person with the custody and control package. Notification of original offer is required. Section 8.7 the removal order. A minimum of removal order should contain his, having the attached a copy of the documentation set forth in Section 8.2 and, and 8.5.1 the name of the contact information authorization official, the reason for the purpose for the removal, the effective date and the expiration of the removal order with a substantial order is ordered. Section 8.8 clear state the second and th second third removal order on the top and place the authorization official provided with the name and the contact information in the person who ordered that of the order subsection section 88 subsection order agent an agent removal of the package for up to 40 hours which can extend the office of administrative administrative designee when a material is being import tra transported with the examination and analysis however the any situation due to the circumstance beyond the agent the office of Author authority control the information needed to determine the situation required the emergency order will not be obtained before the original emergency orders expire Section 881. Why may we, who may issue a subsequent order? The purpose of the removal cannot be achieved at the time and frame allowed with the original organization. Official may request a substantial, subsequential, subsequential order. However, the office of authority administrative of the person designated to issue the emergency order may issue the substantial, subsequential removal order. Section 882. Prior notice when pra practicable office of authority should provide the affected parties with a notice prior to the issuance of the subsequential order. The 883 authorizing official to request a subsequential removal order from the person who is authorized with the original mover. Removal should make a written request of the person designated with the authorization authority to issue the emergency order. 
8831 documentation and information considered by the person issuing subsequential order. When requesting a subsequential order, the written can request that the minimum should include a copy of all documents listed in section 8283 and 1, a statement concerning with the, while, while the deadline could not be met. And 884, limited the number of the subsequent orders, not more than three removal orders, original two subsequent orders should be issued to a person for the same package when based on the same set of the facts arise from the investigation. Section 9, closing and reintroduction. In Section 9.1, in, in general, the package opened with the agent of the enhanced authority of the agent required with the assistance of preparing the package safe and prompt transaction transportation. This may include cl reclosing the package in accordance with the packaging, manufacture closure, and instruction. Section 9.2, why does the agent need not, not need the assistance of the reclosing of the package? Section 9.2.1, non-compliant package. If an agent opens a package and is not found to be compliant, the agent is not required to reclose the package or bring the package into compliance. Um, not, section 9.2.2, the agent believes the package poses an imminent hazard after opening the package. The agent believes the package may pose an imminent hazard authorizing the official or agree that the agent is not required to reclose the package. Um, section note um, in the above situation upon finding the non-compliance on a request of an emergency order the custody of the package reverts back to the person from whom the agent took the custody in order to open the package section 93 when the student when the why, when should the agent assist the reclosing of the package agent may be required to assist the closing of the package in accordance with the packaging manufacturer closure instructions 931 package of compliance does not does not does not pose imminent hazard after the agent opened the package, determined that the package does not contain the hazardous material in compliance with the regulations, and does not impose an imminent hazard. The agent should assist the reclosing of the package. The inspection was at the other's official facility, and all matters are present with the properly reclosed the package. The agent may request assistance to offer the reclosing package. In the case of the case, the agent does not need to documentate the reclosing of the section 9311. Note, the guidance in this section will apply to the situation where the agent believed the imminent hazard exists and the requested issuance of an emergency order, but the author of the Soviet administra Authority Administration designated to determine that the package did not impose an imminent hazard, consequently did not, use the, did not issue an emergency order. Section 9311, the documentation reclosing, reclosing the package, the agent should document his or her ma process manner for the forming prescribed and guidance for the office of agent of the office of authorization at the minimum the agent should uh documentate the agent closed constructed the package brought into compliance with the hazard material regulations um how, how a above complies with the regulation with particular consistent with the guidance of the agent's office of authorization the agent should take the step-by-step -step photographs for closing process for closed packages Section 9312, Additional Requirements Procedure, an agent recloses the package, an agent should place the inspection tape and approved as by the officer pro, pro, uh, authorization around the package. Initial inspection tape of the applicable supply, the unique identifier that may have been assigned by the office administration of the authorization. Requesting the person from the package was obtained with the initial inspection tape of the spot adjacent with the adjacent initials. Return the package to the person from whom it was obtained. Section 932, package found not in containing a hazard material. After opening a package and found not, not containing a hazard material, the agent should surely curly reclose the package and follow the guidelines of 931. Section 10, transportation analysis. Section 10.1, general. Who, um, when an agent determines further examination of the package necessary for of that analysis material that it is required, the agent may direct a person the transportation package to the testing facility capable of performing the required task or to a location where the examination must be may be safely conducted with the agent. Reason for the using of the authority may include any of the following situations. Conflicting information exists and additional investigation is not possible around immediate premises and to other, otherwise determine the package in compliance. Section 10.3, Authority and dis Discretion. Agent can direct, the direct a person the transportation package and examination analysis based solely upon the agent discretion. However, the agent should use an authority springingly in accordance with the additional guidance for the agent office of his authority when deciding whether the authority of the agent considered is an on-site um, inspection adequately determined the compliance more appropriate for the gathering information making the required determinations. Has he identified the facility capable of identifying the package content Dance to the examination and analysis. For the package already with the transportation, seek the appropriate emergency order to the temporary hold the package. Refer to his or her office of authority guns regarding the further investigation original offer of the manufacturer. 
Section 3.10.3, documentation agent should contemporaneously document his or her reason for the using, using authority at a minimum agent should, should documentate. A description of the package, including the available shipping information, type of the testing needed with examination and oils packing, um, packing and testing. The person may be directed to transport to the packaging, identified by the testing facility, and contacting information. Section 11. Assistance of the quali from qualified personnel. Section 11.1. In general, when an agent unable to perform the function when safety might otherwise compromise by an agent performance of an essential function when the agent may be authorized, qualified, and personnel to assist in the activities. Also, the agent may also request an assistance of the person of that person, his employer, that has the right to refuse the request. Such a refusal may be grounds for removal of Section 8. Section 11.2, Authorization and Discretion. An agent may request an assistance for the qualified personnel based on solely upon his or her discretion. Section 11.3, Verifying Qualification prior to requesting authorization person to assisting in the performing any function. The agent should first verify that the person per properly qualified to perform the function. Section 11.4. Documentation. Whenever the agent authorizes the person to assist the performing function, the agent should documentate on how he or she verified the person was properly qualified the function request agent function agent requested the authorized person to perform when the person actually did and the any additional information agent believes the relative in his or her request of the assistant qualified personnel section 12 emergency orders section 12 one em general emergency orders may be in the form of emergency restriction prohibition recall out of service order may be issued for the unsafe practice and condition posing imminent hazard Key points to remember about emergency orders. The emergency orders are not limited to addressing violations of hazmat has law, federal hazmat law, or hazmat material regulations. They can also be used in unsafe practices, condition constitutes, or causing imminent hazard primarily to address the unsafe practice condition of the emergency restriction prohibition order C section 12223. The Office of Authorization Administration designating the fine of the minimum it hazard based on the agent inspection investigation where applicable information with the additional testing and research. Before the Office of Authority issues an emergency order, there must be at least two levels of review above the agent in case all the other authorizing officials shall conduct the first level of review. The person authorized to issue the emergency order should not be the same person designated authorization field official. To the extent of the person, the person should be located in issuing the authorization office of authorization headquarters. May also be may may also be a situation where the non compliant packaging portion of the transportation vehicle is poisoning imminent hazard. And generally imminent emergency orders will be issued based on agents inspection investigation. However, the Office of Inspection, Office of Compliance Administrator of the Designating Authority to issue the emergency order based on an independent internal external investigation and outreach. For issuing additional emergency orders based on set, same set facts and circumstances. An emergency order removes the packaging for transportation until identified requirements are met and the person who the emergency order was issued demonstrates the satisfaction issuing of the office of authority that the imminent hazard is no longer present. All emergency order can only be removed residing in the written order. The emergency recall order can be only issued by the Pipeline Hazard and Material Safety Administration Consultation requesting office of authority. 12.2 type of the emergency order. There are three types of emergency order th orders authorized. That is out of out of service o OOS applicable to packages that are in transportation. Um, emergency recall. Emergency recall orders are issued by the PHMSA in consolidation with the Office of Authority as appropriate. The emergency order addressed with the packaging design may be limited to particular manufacturing run certain package designs. Typically, an emergency recall order imposes the requirements of the party in the possession of the subject package. However, the emergency order may impose the specific requirements manufacturing packaging design of the subject of the order on say section 12222 part 2 model specification considerization emergency recall. Um, will be published in the Federal Register. 
Emergency restriction prohibition. Uh, emergency restriction or prohibition is limited to the extent of necessary to abate the imminent hazard. Emergency orders are very versatile and can be broadly and narrowly tailored. Unlike an office out of service or an emergency recall order, the emergency order is not generally directed towards packages, although certain circumstances may be addressed in packaging issues. Uh, emergency order can be used to restrict all portion of the entity's activities in addition with the Office of Authority. can issue the emergency order to restrict the prohibited transportation as the material based on the determination that the unsafe practice condition poses the imminent hazard, C Section 12223. The out-of-service order, the emergency of the order is applicable to packages that present the imminent hazard and are found in the transportation. The out-of-service order is issued to the party with the custody of the control of the package. Example, to recall the package is a question under the example of the section provided in Section 8.1. The uh, agent determines the shipping paper in consistent with the label of the package becomes material and the fact of poison. Therefore, the packaging is not authorized for the material. The placard is incorrect and the label is incorrect. The lack of the hazard communication would pose the direct threat of emergency responders to the public should an incident occur with the during the transportation in situation, it may be appropriate to take the package and any other related package out of service brought for the compliance. Um, section 12222, emergency recall. The emergency order is situated with the address type of the packaging, specific packaging design. The order is issued in the pipeline hazard material safe line. Safety Administration Part 2 Module Specification Consideration for PHMSA Procedures for Issuing the Emergency Recall. Examples During the course of the inspection of the investigation, agents discovered that the packaging design was not properly tested. The manufacturing one of the particular design with a fatal defect. Upon further investigation, the agent believes the designated defect of the imminent hazard of the packaging were allowed to be used in the transportation hazard material. Um, section 1223. 1223 Emergency Restriction Prohibition Order. The Office of Administrative Designee may issue the Emergency Restriction Prohibition Order to impose the Restriction Prohibition of Transportation Hazard Material for a violation of Federal Hazard Law or Hazard Regulation. For unsafe practices, consideration constitutes or causing the eminent hazard point bulletin for any unsafe practice condition the requirements to abate the imminent hazard may also be focused on or a portion of the entity's operation the emergency restriction prohibition order can also be brought as a removal of the er eradic er eradication of any external condition prohibition general otherwise legal practice Example, the president has declared a national emergency the condition um, caused by the finding of the and that are by by the product and the event may also pose an imminent hazard safe transportation of all hazard material within the affected area. Unless the circumstances the secretary is authorized to issue the order restricts the transportation of all the some hazards until the time is an imminent hazard condition is debated. Check, section 12.3 of the authorizing official, the um, using or receiving information with the agent concerning with the non-compliance packaging design unsafe condition practice for the authorizing authorizing official believes that they may pose imminent hazard. The authorizing official will request the issuance of an order of the person designated with the office of the authority uh, to issue the emergency order. The author, authorizing official is soon and practical to providing all the documents supplied from the agent to a person summarized by the office of the authority to issue the emergency order. 12.4. Um, person authorized to issue the emergency order. After receiving the request for the authorizing official, the person authorized to issue the emergency order should review all the documentation supplied by the agent and the authorizing official. 12.4.1. Review by person authorized to issue the order. The person shall follow with the, follow with the policy procedure set forth in his or her officer's authority. Uh, however, determining whether in an imminent hazard or a minimum of the personnel shall consult with the officer's authority, office of the chief counsel of its equivalent legal section. 12.5. Elements of order, elements of emergency order. After the person authorized to issue the emergency order has made in the finding of the imminent hazard exists, and he shall issue the appropriate written order. The written emergency shall be limited to the extent necessary to debate the imminent hazard and shall minimum contain a description of the violation condition practice of the constitute causing the imminent hazard. The specific terms and conditions for the affected parties and parties must be that they must take place in an order of the emergency order to remove the name and the contact information to identify the emergency contact person. The Office of Authority Policy Procedures for how and when the packaging can be tra may be transported to location when required to bring the packaging into compliance may safely be conducted and remedial action to be evaded with the imminent hazard. E, a statement of the recipient right and the petition for the review of the reference title 49109119. Um, Section 12.5.1, attachment of the order when issuing an emergency order, the Office of Authority shall actually comply, copy all the evidence should be used in determining existence of the imminent hazard. 
Section 12, six notification serving publication office authority will time limit, timely publish the Federal Register and emergency order of the issue. The issue and emergency order of the office of authority should take the either, every responsibility after or immediately notify the recipient of the order has been issued and provided with a copy of the order without attachments and by fast mail or electronic mail after the initial notification of the authority shall serve the copy of the order with original signature and of attachment um, upon recipient by in-person a U.S. Postal Service pri pri private mail service within a re written return receipt and signature re return receipt requested. A fast mail electronic mail on only with the recipient has taste stated in writing that the wave serves waves wave that it waves service v viva a and b above section 12 7 termination of emergency order the emergency order may only be terminated only upon written order issued by the person issued with the original order section 13 specific materials um section 13 one perishable radioactive poison poisoning by insulation has the material and selects agents no agent may open or otherwise handle a package containing a perishable hazardous material radioactive material hazardous material that is primarily subsidi subsidiary classification of poison inhalation hazard or select agent um, requirements of specific materials any agent exercising authority of part 109 material specified in section only in the agent that has been training in the handling of the hazard material specified with the section in addition with the prior undertaking of the handle opening of the packaging containing one of these material the agent must be in facility, facility designed to the handle of the specific material the specific facility is required ever, uh, and have all safety equipment handling equipment material to properly close the package Section 13, Documentation Authorization. If the agent has more than requirements in Section 13.1, the agent might perform, must perform documentation requirements of the authorization exercise must include and include the specific material of the specialized facility at which the agent is performing the function and if applicable safety equipment used in the performance with the function safety measures undertaken and specific materials to be used reclosing the package and certifying the materials on hand. Part 2, Model Model, model specifications or considerations.